sorry to turn my mic down, it's really late. Okay. Alright, let's add an HDR map onto our uh, Skydome. HDR folders. Okay. Lighting on. Let's turn on our IPR render. Let that convert it to a TX file. There we go. Kind of bright. shape, just do it a cone, round the cap some, flip it upside down, Oh, 
zone. I like it. Okay, and the top doesn't really matter because we're gonna just intersect it with the Taurus up there. Taurus. Okay, so let's shrink the whole thing down. Close enough, close enough. Okay, take these and move them together. Let's show this my geometry. Rather than adding a cylinder between these, I think I'm just gonna extrude the top of that out. Just hide this guy. <laughs> I made with good geo, good topology. D, oops. Object mode, control D, and pull that guy back through into here. Scale up. Okay, look at this from the top. So we can move him into place. There we go. 
Okay. That's still way too much on that. Here, still. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. So now let's get him. Modify some pivots. Hey, it's Evan watching. Seventeen people watching in the three D modeling group in Facebook. Thanks for watching. You see how terrible of a modeler I am. No, I'm just doing some basic stuff. This is actually uh, for a student of mine. She's uh, putting together the Toy Story bedroom scene and wanted help modeling the bed. So, I'm doing it. What are the feet of this thing look like? Can't really tell. I'm just gonna hide my sky down for me. Kind of distracting. Okay, so that is centered with them there. Looks like it's flat against. Not cinematic room. Okay. So, we can here. A little bit. See that comes up there to there. That. Now let's try to build one of these pieces. Go to uh, front view. Now it's going to get curved. Uh, let's go with the EP curve pool. Starting right. Probably should have done this symmetrically. That's okay. And I know she'll be the death of me, at least we'll both be now. And she'll always get the best of me, the worst is yet to come. But at least. Now I'll go back and adjust these points in just a minute. Go way right here. There. Closer, closer, closer. Okay, so now let's uh, isolate that curve. No, my broadcasting changed. My broadcasting software likes to switch scenes without me knowing. That's scary. Ah!
also kind of knew it, um, dealing with curves in my, not new, but it's quite a bit different than how splines are in 740. Okay, let's go to control vertex. Get a few of these. intersecting okay so now we got a closed curve even though it looks terrible okay all right so now let's take I was born to be a hustler and of course um, daddy was a truck be watching this has better suggestions on how to model this piece I'm all ears so let's take that and we can do planar on it, a planar surface, create command, create surface planar, make that be polygons with quads, um, standard fit for now, and apply. Did that do anything? Oh, I did, made this surface. But where did it put it? Where are you, surface? Oh. Inside of something? Let's scale you up. What happened? Okay, let's try something else. Let's try the, uh, let's loft it. So, curve one, control D, make it like that fit. Both of those and loft them. And again, with polygons. Quads. Hmm, that's not what I wanted either. I guess that would work though. Yeah. Lofted surface, and then we could just try to fill a hole. Let's turn these curves off. Okay, so we got this lofted surface. Control one to isolate it. Go to edge mode. Let's see if we can get the whole loop. Yes, we can. That's good. Fill the hole. And it looks like the, all all my faces are backwards. So let's go into face mode. While we're thinking about it, get all the faces. Reverse the direction of them. Go. 
Okay. And then we'll get back to edge mode. Double click that loop. Fill that hole. Okay. So that is one way to do it. Not that great. But now we can smooth it. Ah. Terrible. Oh, it's because I got that selection. Go back to object mode. Try to smooth that. No. Yeah, it's doing some terrible things. Okay. So I'm probably going to just do an entirely different method here. Because that looks bad. And why does my broadcasting software keep switching to this? Why? Don't do that. Stay on... I'm going to just... Do an override. Back to the just in case it does switch back to this view. I'm gonna just give it a screen grab oh, or this copy paste. There we go. Okay, so of course we could have fixed this by changing how the planer actually was made from the curve, so it's not so jagged, but not bad. Okay, so now control one again. Okay, so it's not great, but it's not terrible. goes up to there. Okay, so let's take corner post and duplicate him three times. Okay, so definitely a lot of adjustment needs to be done, but we are starting to get a bed here. Longer. Okay, so let's take my post and all of this actually. Control G in the group. Front, I guess. Duplicate that. Call it back. Move it to the back. And scale it up slightly this way. Okay, so now. some kind of structure underneath there, those cubes.
emotional. Look at that. Trash in that. Let's duplicate all over again. Okay, this one. Base. Probably should be in both. Sometimes they're exactly the same. But oh well. Sometimes you just gotta keep going with it, you know? Can't be so nitpicky doing every operation perfectly because you'll never get anything done. You'll be constantly trying to find the perfect method. Alright. <clears throat> not great, not great. Maybe I can just go back in and sculpt this to be smoother. Okay. Ah. So, duplicate. Actually, let's get these materials on these first. <clears throat> these are part of the same front board. Put one of those in here, and then move that, or duplicate it, move it back. Control D, call that back. Close. Actually, I forgot to do the wood material. Let's do that first. Wood. Wood, wood, wood. Just turn off those guys. All of you are going to be wood. Okay, let's uh, sign in material. Just uh, blend for now. Sure, I have substances loaded. Pretty sure I do. Where's the substance? Yes. Loaded. Okay, so now into the color channel. Go add a uh, substance. And I think I'm going to go jump onto substance share. So you can see that this is real. All right. So let's get just the generic looking wood. Planks. We don't need planks. We just want. It. Let's just go to materials and nature's wood, whole category for wood. Okay, barky, planky, organic wood. We are going to play a typical number. Mm. 
Let's make it a little darker. I don't know if that substance has settings to make it darker. You bark, bark, bark. Base wood. That looks good. That's kind of what it looks like in Toy Story. It's like generic shadery looking wood pattern. Okay. Okay, get your SBSAR file out of there. <clears throat> okay, so... Now we can go back in here. Let's just jump into the hyper shade. Whoa. Get out of there, hyper shade. Alright, so this blend, let's right click and graph the network, go to our substance node, folder, desktop, choose our base wood, open. We are going to play a typical number. Or no. That's weird. Try again. Desktop, SPSER, base wood. Peace. No. That stinks. Okay. Let's go get one of the ones that come with Maya. Computer, C drive, Autodesk. No, no, no. It's not. Program files. Autodesk. Maya 2017. Uh, plugins, substance, substances. There we go. Okay, so wood. Planks, planks. Ah. Really? No normal wood in here? Okay, well, why aren't you working? Guess we can go get a different wood. It's always an option. Uh, what? Okay. Well, at this point, I'm just going to try anything. Shiny wood. Oh, crap, it's 2 o'clock. I need to go run. Wasting all my time on this stupid Toy Story bed. Okay, that one worked. Good. Um, let's change this to 2K. Ah, I got the wrong, I, I know the problem. I know why that's not working. I need the new substance plugin, which I am not even gonna screw with right now. So let's go back here and just Sign a new shader. What there was one called wood. Hmm. Okay, well, let's skip materials then. Ah.
Okay, I just need to make some kind of structure under here. And the bedding on top. We're close to being done. Alright, well, I'm going to end the stream. If you are watching, thank you for watching. Uh, I will go back and look at the comments if you have any suggestions on uh, what I should have done differently or any comments you have. Thanks.